Yo, book nerds, I finished reading The House at Pooh Corner by A.A. A. Milne. This is the second book in the Winnie the Pooh series, and this was just as adorable as the first book. On a side note, I learned that Christopher Robin is the name of A.A. A. Milne's son, and so I thought that was interesting that he based the character on his son and literally named the character after his son. And according to my Google search, apparently the real Christopher Robin was not a fan that his name was used in the story and tried to like distance himself from the fame of Winnie the Pooh as an adult. And so I don't know how true that is. That was seriously from a Google search, but that's very interesting to know. <laughs> but I digress. There is a little poem at the beginning of the book that I just want to read to you because I just thought it was cute. You gave me Christopher Robin, and then you breathe new life in Pooh. Whatever of each has left my pen goes homing back to you. My book is ready and comes to greet the mother it longs to see. It would be my present to you, my sweet, if it weren't your gift to me. I thought that was just beautiful, and I don't know. It just... It struck my heart when I read that little poem at the beginning. This book has like an introduction and in that introduction you kind of get the impression that this was supposed to be the final Winnie the Pooh book and so I think it's interesting since there are two more books in the series after this I don't know what they'll be like so I'm interested to see what's to come. I would say that you could read this book without having read the first one. This book does make some small references to the first book, but for the most part, I think you could figure it out pretty easily because it is a children's chapter book. This is geared more towards like first, second graders, I feel like, instead of like very, very little children because the language used just like in the first book, may go over their heads if they're too little. This book is also not a framed narrative like the first one, so I thought that was an interesting choice to change that. But just like the first book, this book was so light and fun and just an enjoyable read, especially since my life is crazy right now and I didn't have to think very hard about this. There was some light humor, it was pretty cutesy, and that light humor might actually go over some children's heads, so reading it as an adult is enjoyable. We finally meet Tigger in this book. I was kind of like sad that he wasn't in the first book at all. So Tigger finally shows up, and there's a lot of cutesy humor in that chapter when he shows up, which I enjoyed. I was surprised. I didn't know this. Maybe this is more common knowledge if you're more familiar with Winnie the Pooh. I haven't read Winnie the Pooh since I was a little kid, so like I either didn't remember this or didn't know this, but The House at Pooh Corner is for Eeyore. So the name of this book isn't like for Winnie the Pooh's house, it's for Eeyore's house, which I just thought was interesting. And I wonder why he chose to name the book that. Side note, I'm really sorry if you can hear my cat. She's being really loud in the next room. So, yeah. This book came out in 1928, and I'm reading it in 2024. So it is 96 years old, which I define a classic as being 100 to 1,000 years old. So I define a modern classic as 50 to 100. So it is almost to that classic definition. It is right there. It is right there, but it is still what I would call a modern classic at this point. But a few more years is going to change that. I just, like I said, really enjoyed reading this. I don't really have too much to say. It's going to be a kind of a shorter review. There was a quote that I wanted to share that I really liked. It's a paragraph actually about a river and I just, I wanted to read it to you because I liked the way that Milne describes this river. By the time it came to the edge of the forest, the stream had grown up so that it was almost a river, and being grown up, it did not run and jump and sparkle along as it used to do when it was younger, but moved more slowly, for it knew now where it was going, and it said to itself, there is no hurry, we shall get there some day. 
But all the little streams higher up in the forest went this way and that, quickly, eagerly, having so much to find out before it was too late. And that quote, beautifully written, first of all, but that quote kind of foreshadows the ending of this story. And spoiler alert if you don't want to know. But the ending of the story, you kind of get the sense that Christopher Robin is growing up and he is starting to play less and less. And there's this sense of like melancholy, this sense of longing for your childhood. And it's kind of bittersweet, which I found to be very, very deep for a children's chapter book. First of all, when I think of Winnie the Pooh, I don't really think of those deep, deep, themes like that. But the last chapter talks about this enchanted place where Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh are always going to be to play. And it just kind of gives me that sense that like somewhere out there, some part of you is still a child. And I liked that. You, we, we all grow up, we all change. And that's what's supposed to happen. But part of us is still a child. Part of me is obviously still a child because I'm reading children's books and I love them. So, like, it, it taps into that and I really, really thought it was deep and moving and it caught me off guard because I wasn't expecting it in this book. That's really all I have to say about this book. I really enjoyed it and it was light and fun and just easy for someone who's really going through a lot right now and life is busy and stressful and... I just needed this. It was very, very refreshing. If you've read it, let me know your thoughts in the comments and I will chat with you guys soon. Hit like and subscribe. Thanks for talking books with me.